Hey guys and welcome back to Fable 2. As you can see I have made some adjustments. Oh, I didn't turn into a fence post, don't worry. Made some adjustments since last time. I've changed hair, clothes, weapons, etc. And my dog is now a husky. And as you may be able to hear, this gargoyle keeps insulting my family. Oh, can't shoot from there. You gonna say anything? Ah, too late. And we get the gargoyle map. This ancient scroll, found among the rubble of the stone gargoyle you destroyed, contains the following words. Ack, think you're a right smart arse, don't you? Well, you'll never find the lost gargoyle treasure, not in a million years. It's too well hidden in the river dungeon of the City of Stones. So there! At the bottom of the scroll is a detailed map showing a location in Bowerstone Market. Okay, the location of that is actually under the middle of the bridge, but there's no point going there until you've defeated more gargoyles. So, we're just going to carry on for now. I will, oh, I will destroy them as I find them, really. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Christ, how much did you dig up? Right, come on. Okay, so we're actually going to try travelling to Oak Fields today, which is where the next hero is. Now I know there's another gargoyle up there, but I will actually do a section where I go after all the gargoyles I can find. Come on, too slow. Nope, nothing new happening. Ew. I make someone all warm inside. I hear another one, but uh, I think that one's in the furniture store. Let's go and have a look. Right. Oh, I don't want to examine the property. They do make me laugh, even though they're just there insulting you. Oh. There it is. But Harley could see me outside. There are 50 gargoyles in total, if you didn't know. Um, I actually prefer... You have to do the same sort of thing on Fable 3, but it's leprechauns. And I think they're just hello. Not le leprechauns, garden gnomes. Sorry. <laughs> I can't tell the difference, honestly. But they're just hilarious. Come on. Now down to Old Town. Don't mention my sister. Let's go abuse his discount, maybe. Or just, you know, dig up the whole place and the dog glitched through the fence. Fantastic. And I can dig through a cart. Peanuts. Right. If you do ever want me to show you around these towns, just let me know and I will. 
potion trader. And we're back. I just took a second to stop up on, stop, stock up on potions. You know, you can never know how many you'll need. Mystical juice! Squeeze from clouds, pixies and pure thoughts. This juice is both delectable and extremely healthy. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I just like it being called mystical juice. Clothing trader, what do they have? Probably nothing, but I don't really like the outfit I've got on. Okay, I changed jacket. Thought it must be cold in that tart top, and I do love this jacket. Though what makes me laugh in the clothing trade is all the noble gent stuff. Seems to be pink. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if that's what they like, that's what they like. They can wear pink as much as they want. See if I care. Rookridge Road has been added to your map. Fantastic. This must be Rookridge Road then, I'm hoping. Although knowing the geography of this game, it could be anywhere. It could be Oakfield for all I know. Hold on, dog. I'm still digging up here. I do hope no one's using this as a walkthrough. Yes, dog, yes. Ah. Special chest. Okay, this is a chest that you can only open with a certain amount of silver keys. So, I need five, I think, maybe, that says. I can't quite read it to open that. And we're off to Rookridge. Whoop. Ooh. <gasps> Bandits! Where? Dog says treasure. Ah, got it. God, oh, sorry about the sniffing. I really didn't mean to do that. That was ever so rude. Whew. Come on, I thought there were bandits. Oh, there's a flag. Flag. Ominous. I don't know. Shush me, shush. Because that sucks. If you'll let me target them, I will. You will. You surrender or you'll die. Experience. Right. Well, they're dead. Let's carry on. The dog's just hidden in a corner, of course. Is there anything up here? Well, there's only one way to find out. Although, hmm. I think I remember something you do have to do up here. I mean. Nope, the bandits have blocked that off. Because they're such nice folks. <coughs> oh yeah, I should apologise for my attempt at a Scottish accent whilst reading out that gargoyle letter. I am actually um, of Scottish heritage, but it doesn't mean I can do the accent. What's this? He's got the same coat as me. Oh, silver key. Thank you. Thank you, I said. Beware the ghost. Okay. Right, come on. Right, one thing that miffs me about this game is there are loads of chests and crates and stuff with nothing in them, so don't bother smashing them up. But do feel free to smash up the bandits. 
Especially the one wearing flagpoles. Like he's a ship. I'll just die already. <sighs> yeah, don't be surprised at the amounts that are likely to jump out of you here. If a battle takes too long, I will finish it off screen. And what have we got? The Dogs of War book one. I've already got that. Stupid thing. I would have known I got it for free. I went to Barford. That's not as fun. So one of them dies but the others just kind of sit there and don't bother looking around for whoever it was. Such camaraderie. Any more? Any more for any more? Bring out your dad! Nope, okay. Ooh, bonus experience. Now oh, what, dog? Yeah, I don't care about the dig spot, I've got a chest. Dog tricks, hide snout. Oh, excuse me. Your dog can now hide his snout. To see him do this, either belch or fart. I have no intention of doing either. Oh, I can now be called Dog Lover, can I? I think I'll stick with Little Sparrow. Then, hello, Dog Lover! <laughs> Does sound a bit wrong. To put it lightly. Hey, what's going on? Ahoy! Uh. Fine. Whee! 